Yo, uh, what is going on guys? It is your boy Susan here. There's a video here today bringing us a illustrative video on how to create a very uncool illustration, photo, simples, somewhere probably in there. Uh, regardless of what the title says the video is what the video is. But you guys should know it's actually a really cool fun concept where you basically just take a picture, an illustrator, and kind of just make it look really cool and mosaic and have that really dope feel. Um, I have no idea if a lot of you guys actually ever been in like I mean, like your beginning of your college or even like uh, your probably like your senior year of high school where you're like doing like a really cool fun um, project where you have to take a, like a photo of yourself, right? And you have to like like do like in illustrator like random shapes. I don't know if I'm the only one who done that, but if that rings any bell, be like, yo, same in the comments in there. I feel like that's definitely a thing. Regardless, it's a fun video, very quick and simple and very easy to uh, kind of like go through and hope you guys use the concept, enjoy it. And uh, yeah, of course, you're gonna send out uh, 275 likes on the video. You can stick it down below as always and mostly be like a cool little, uh, how do you say, illustrator color palette that you guys go with uh, when you guys are making your own. So let's just get this thing going and hope you guys enjoy it. All right, guys, so it's very, very simple, actually. I already have Illustrator open. All I pretty much am in is a 5,000 by 5,000 um, dimension. Is there any reason to do that? Absolutely not. But I actually, just, oh, it's 3,000 by 3,000. Regardless, I'm in that kind of little resolution here. Basically enough for a, base, uh, a good square. Um, right, so I'm gonna press close for a second. I'm gonna just now drag in the picture that you're gonna be possibly using um, for like, if it's a portrait of yourself, someone uh, someone else, a client, regardless, right? I'm gonna make sure I kind of size it up so it's just gonna be a little more bigger, right? Make sure I'm holding shift, okay? Now. Once I am all good and size in the middle, I have my canvas where I want to have it. Make sure you guys have the tab window, and I believe it's called Image Trace Up, right? It'll bring you guys this little tab right here. I have my inside the third, uh, the third one here. Um, regardless if it's out like this, it does not matter whatsoever. You can just actually drag it into one of your groups if you guys have some groups already open, right? So with Image Trace, you can go to where it says uh, Preset, right? And you go down to where it says Six Colors, right? When you have the actual uh, picture selected, you go ahead and select Six Colors. Right, and it goes just a whole little little process, right? For some reason, my like illustrator likes to crash every now and again when it does this, but not like all the way. It just like does like the little white bar thing, right? So once you guys are done, you guys can see that it actually creates a six color palette um, with, of course, making sure dif uh, differentiates uh, uh, colors of shadows and highlights. Only reason I did that because I didn't know how to say it last time, right? So. Now it's like this, I can go ahead and say, maybe I, w I don't want six colors, but maybe I want like eight or nine or 10 or however, you can even go less if you guys want to. You can even go three colors, but that's probably like really, really weird. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and say, besides not uh, six, I want eight. I'm gonna press eight and I'm gonna press enter. It'll redo it and make sure it gives me the highlights and shadows as well again and have that, have that contrast there, but with now eight different colors on it. So right here, now I can see my face or the face of uh, Matt. This is Matt Nate shot, by the way. Um, right, you can, now you can see his face is more defined. So if you're finding it that the the, the actual, how do you say the person that you're doing it, if, if it's yourself or not, they're just missing some features, putting up the actual colors is probably gonna be a, a good idea, right? So what I wanna do now is I'm gonna make sure I go to object now. So this is pretty much done, right? Like when, when you have the amount of colors that you guys want on it, you wanna go to object and then you go to expand and this little table is gonna pop up. Make sure you guys, of course, have the object and the fill actually checked. Press OK. Just like so now, your picture now becomes an actual illustration uh, vector with different shapes in it, right? So if I were to kind of like click, right, with like the direct selection tool, right? I can just click on one thing, I can take it out, right? So you can see there's actual shapes now of all the different, uh, you know, how do you say, images of shadows and highlights, right? But the cool part of this is you have, to, you have to click on every single one and be like, hey, I want this to be blue, blah, 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 blah right? I'm gonna go ahead highlight the entire pieces, right? The entire image, okay? Then I'm gonna go to edit, edit colors, and recolor artwork, right? Now in this table here, it's gonna be super easy for you guys to see every single color that's on the actual canvas. There should be around eight or nine, however maybe I put it over there before, but you can then just take your cue bar and say, hey, I want this to be like a nice, like a greenish tone, be like really, really vibrant, why not? You can make it any color you honestly want. Let's just do like a cool, like pink is actually pretty cool. All right, let's put this up a little bit too. We can do like a cool color there. That actually looked pretty, that looked really good where it was. I'm a fan, right? And the one thing I would make sure you guys try not to do too much of is change the brightness, right? Hue saturation adjustments uh, or hue saturation and brightness or whatever, um, right? You don't want to actually really change the bottom one here because that really determines on, uh, of course, the highlights and shadows, right? So the brightness, lowering it and making it higher will maybe look like a shadow. Like if I just look at his face really quick, right? It's at 34%. If I just bring it up, you can start seeing that his shadow is what that we're messing with is, right? So if you mess around with the brightness too much, you might lose that definition. So be careful with that. I'm gonna put it back to 34, which where it was, right? Or I'll just kind of drag it down there. Okay, put it down there and just go through every single color if you guys wish to, and then just change it to a nice little cool hue to it, right? 
and it can do a little bit of a saturation. I think the, the saturation as well also kind of goes around the same premise of not making it too, too much. Um, but yeah, it's a very, very dope concept on its own, right? That this alone is just super cool. You can go through all these different colors. I mean, if I want to change the jacket color, I believe it should be this one right here. Let's just go ahead and kind of like say, make it a little more darker. We can change, change it to like a, uh, like a red, right? You can do like a red if we want to. Oh, oh. the fuck? <laughs> I let someone outside. Regardless, right? A nice little red actually looks pretty bad. Um, but we're gonna just change it to like, let's just do purple, a purplish blue, right? This is okay for what it is. We're gonna press okay. Now the cool thing about this is if you guys are a fan of how this looks, where it's kind of like the rounded shapes and all that stuff like that, where you can see if you kind of zoom in in here, the, you can see all at least uh the mentioned or or suggested definition of face, nose, teeth, etc. etc. Right? But you can get of course more definition if you put more colors when you guys did image trace just so you guys know right so the cool thing about this is you're not done here or you can be done here you can drag this literally like highlighting it and drag it into photoshop whatever document size you guys need to be in and then just have that you can play around it uh play around with it in there um keep in mind as well if you guys want to actually turn on strokes which is probably gonna lie your computer a little bit but i'm not gonna do it right now but of course each of these shapes or excuse me or each of these of course parts are shapes right so you can see if you guys turn on your stroke you can definitely turn on your stroke you can make this a color as well and then just bring some more kind of color in there and different variety in there as well right but besides that i can highlight this as well i can go to where it says i believe it's edit or not edit it's an object path simplify now i'm gonna zoom in really quick or i should probably zoom in beforehand let me go ahead and just actually zoom in beforehand right just a little bit more okay so i'm gonna go object path simplify now of course check your preview but you're gonna see i have the words straight lines of course selected that is not by default you're just gonna look something like this or it's just like excuse me um you can kind of select some different kind of patterns where you can actually create where the shapes themselves are uh, the path around them of course the, the little of course anchor points are curved or whatever right you can actually change your position to be 100 percent that's where you guys get the actual 100 percent version of what you had before you went into simplify but if you lower it down of course it makes the curves a little bit more looser or a little more or organic kind of feeling right so if i just look at it right now you can see a lot more spacing in between um because the actual paths are not perfectly connected but that's not the one i want to show you i want to show object path simplify and straight lines right this one right here is pretty cool to me. I mean, if you bring it up to like 130, whatever, you're gonna get something super abstract, super weird. Um, maybe you're a fan of this kind of stuff. Maybe you can see something really cool, but if you guys look at it, you can, the face itself, eh, you know, you're not gonna probably slide with that. Um, but, right, path, simplify again. I wanna say like 20 or something around, 25. Looks pretty cool to me, 26. Press okay. Right, I zoom in, you can still see it. And it's so cool because it's so triangular and fun that it just opens up the book for how how much you can do with this right so this goes out to the seso that was in college i think it was my first semester digital art class like one or whatever whatever the number was right where i literally <laughs> waited till the last minute to do it because i was like whatever dude, i can do it in like last minute and it came out pretty crap and i got a b on it i could have got an a if i just use this little little, little, little technique um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's literally the video on its own. I don't want to like carry it on too much because after this part, it's just you exploring, right? So of course, explore the stroke paths, explore the simplify. If you know something in Illustrator that can actually work with different shapes, a lot of these different shapes, and uh, you can just make some more stuff out of it. Of course, you can bring it into Photoshop, do some really cool highlights and stuff like that with that alone. Um, regardless, a really cool concept for people who just want to kind of explore in the world of portrait, um, like illustrations and stuff like that. So that's it. I love you guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Seso HQ out. Don't forget to keep smiling. Stay positive and stay freaking better, guys. Later. Much love. And uh, yeah, if you like the video, just, just drop a like, subs, all that good stuff. Of course, notification bell. And uh, yeah, appreciate you guys. Love you. Bye.